the flowers. Colorado's devoured. The whole West Coast has been devoured by fire. And it's still being devoured by fire. fire. The so-called white man is the damn devil as the Bible speaks of. That's, that's right. The stolen man and brought him here. And we're still in your hands to this day. So you got to pay for it. Go ahead, King. And there shall be, there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. What? There shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. You white people are done. It's over. It's a wrap. Come <laughs> down and sit in the dust. Come down and sit in the dust, O Babylon. Go ahead, King. For the Lord has spoken. No, these crazy niggas out here in the street spoke. For the, the Lord, Lord has, has spoken. spoken. Yahweh has spoken. So it has to happen. Second Ezra, chapter 16, verse 5. Plagues are sent unto you. Plagues are sent unto you. What is this coronavirus? It's a plague. Mr. White Man, what is your skin tone? It's a plague. That's right. The sun hates you. You look like a dead red lobster. Go ahead and sit out there some more. And get more skin cancer. That's right. That's right. And what is he? That may drive them away. And what is he that's gonna drive them away? You damn devils can't even wipe their ass right. Who you going what you gonna drive away? What play you gonna drive away? Let me get second Ezra 15. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 15, and verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of the oh, of prophets. Come, we come out here to speak to you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Speak to the words of my people, a special people. Go ahead. Which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Words that the Most High is putting in our mouth. How is he putting in our mouths? Through these scriptures. We're not saying our own vain thoughts and opinions. we coming straight out the book. That's right. Go ahead, King. Verse 2. It caused them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. They are faithful and true. They go to happen. If you're not paying attention to the news, it's happening. You got wars and rumors of wars. You got swarms of earthquakes. You got murder hornets. You got rivers and streams turning blood red. All these things are happening right here, this day and time. Go ahead, bring your precept, King. It's the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 3, verse 16. Bring it up. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. All scripture is given by inspiration of the most high Yahweh. We got this whole thing in Israel right now. Their brothers are saying that it's Moses' law or Jesus' law. No, it's God's law. That's, That's right. right. It's God's law. That's right. He just spoke through them. It's his law. It's Yahweh's law. Go ahead. And it is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction. For instruction in righteousness. That's right. And that's what that's what Negroes need. Read that part again, that last part again. And it is profitable for doctrine. We need this doctrine. This is our doctrine. Go ahead. For reproof. For reproof. Right? Change your wrongs. Change your wrongs into rights. Go ahead. For correction. For correction. That's changing that same wrong to a right again. Go ahead. For instruction. For instruction. In righteousness. For instruction, you have no problem following your teachers in the classroom. Oh, you got homework due here. Okay. But when the Most High asks you to do something, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans can't do it. It makes perfect sense. If you got a problem, you take it up with your house. Don't run. Confront it. Don't run. You got a problem with his words, you got a problem with him. Verse 3. Fear not the imagination against thee. None of these things that you fear in your mind don't even fear against blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans. You always got your back if you return to his laws. Go ahead. That's right. Let not the incredulity of, of them trouble you. Let not the incredulity or the unbelief of these other nations trouble you. Go ahead. That speak against thee. That speak against you. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Everybody speaks against you. You are a proverb and a byword in this damn country, America. That's right. That's right. 
Hispanic black is, is not a race. Hispanic is not a race. Hispanic is not a race. So why do you say black is Hispanic? Because that's I have to speak that way because that's what people How understand. Made they are the Israelites that the Bible talks about. That's, that's right. That's who they are. They're the greatest people on the earth. That's the right. salt of the earth. That's right. And if you got a problem with Yahweh, then take it up with him. And be happy if he don't put you to death tonight. It's the book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 12. Bring it out. Ye Ethiopians, Ye Ethiopians also. Also. Ye shall be slain by my sword. You're going to be slain by the most high sword. That's right. Ye Ethiopians also. Ye Ethiopians also. So also meaning not only the white man, not only the Arab man, not only the Chinese man, not only the Japan, Japanese man, not the Taiwanese man only, but you Ethiopians also. That's good. Hold on, hold on. Telling King. Uh, verse 4. Right. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithful. All the unfaithful. All you two-thirds of you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. All you damn East Edomites. All you East Indians. All you Ethiopians. All you Japanese. All you Chinese. You're about to be taken into a war ride that you never even thought you were going to be on. Go ahead, King. Verse 5. Behold. Say the Lord. I will say the Lord. No, I said, say the Lord. Right? I will bring plagues upon the world. What's this coronavirus? Plagues upon the world. What are these swarms of fires? Plagues upon the world. What are these earthquakes? Plagues upon the world. What is these bloods and rivers turning red? Plagues upon the world. What are all these dead fish popping up out of the sea out of nowhere? Plagues upon the world. Read that from the top. First, this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 15, and verse 5. Bring it up. Saith the Lord, saith who? Saith the Lord, right? I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Ah, yeah, that's it. Let's just drop down twelve. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter sixteen, and verse twelve. The earth quaking. What? The earth quaking. How many earthquakes have we had this year in 2020? You can't count it. The earthquake. Read that again. This is the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 16, and verse 12. And verse 12. Huh. The earthquake, right? And the foundations thereof. The seas are rising up with waves from the deep. And the waves are it are troubled. If there's an earthquake underwater, what happens? There's a tsunami. What does a tsunami do? It comes with waves that swell and destroy. Earth, the earth is quaking. The earth is quaking right now. The Most High is showing you. That's right. If you have a problem, again, take it up with the Most High. That's right. That's right. You can keep it pushing. This is our platform. You can keep it pushing. That's right. If you want to be seen on camera, I have camera, everything to do with it. Go on Snapchat, go on YouTube, and, and take a photo and take a picture. Right. And have fun. Right. This is serious business. Right. Let me get up there. It's the book of Jude, chapter 1, verse 18. Right. How that they told you there should be mockers in the last time. That's what is this, right. man? There shall be mockers. In the last time. In the last That's time. Right. In the last days right now. What's he doing? One. That was a good there one. shall be mockers in the last time. Right, go ahead. Who should walk after their own, their own ungodly lust. To walk after their own ungodly lust. That's right. Mm. I got it. I got it. This is the book of Revelation. Chapter 1 and verse 3. Bring it out. Blessed is he that read it. What? Blessed is he that read it. If you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans were reading your own book, you would know these things are coming to pass. They have to happen. Blessed is he that read it. Read that again. Blessed is he that read it. Right. And 
they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein. But you black Hispanics and Native Americans don't like to read. They say if you want to hide something from a nigga, where do you put it? In a book. Read that again. There's the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 3. Right. Blessed is he that read it. Come on. And they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein. For the time is at hand. That's right, the time is at hand. If you black, Hispanics, and Native Americans would open up your Bible and read it, you wouldn't be surprised at what's happening in the earth today.